M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. This is the Anytone 779. This radio can work on different bands. If you turn the radio off, hold the VM, you'll get these selections. So it's different bands for different countries. And if you go up through with the up arrow or down, Eventually you get to Europe, GMRS, Australian, and then it will start again. So put it on the one that's correct for your country and for your use. And within your license, then just turn it off. Then back on. So let's have a look what we've got here. On the A band, now you select A and B by pushing the main button. So it says B at the top there, and it's, it's telling us the squelch level and the B here. That little yellow square is giving us some information, which is quite handy and looks very nice. We know we're in high power and we can see the voltage coming in 13.7 volts. And if we push main, we've now got the A band showing and on the B section here. Now it will receive dual receive, but you're only here one at a time, but it does dual watch, which is very nice. Let's try the um, VFO memory mode. So that's your memories. We haven't got any memories in yet but that is your memory mode. Okay, a lot of these functions are entered using the microphone, uh, but right now we're just playing around what we can do with the front head. So this is the volume here at the front. Let's find a station that's busy. So we'll go to 70 centimeters. So we'll go to the 145600. There was someone there. I'll leave that on there and someone hopefully will start to, to speak. Let's see if my node's busy. I'll try, it's... We go put 70 centimeters back on the A and look, we'll go down to 434550, which is my node here at home. And if we're lucky, there'll be some activity. Oh. Um, well, you, you don't live too far from where I am. Um, it's a very loud speaker. Um, you do have an external speaker sorry. selection. It just what uses an SO239 and also the cable, the power cable, comes with a cigarette lighter adapter, which is quite handy. We move that to the B band because there's no activity on the A band. Then it will allow the B band to come through. But if we get activity, you get that dual watch effect, and it's very good. It works very well. Function wise, you've got your function menu here, and you can. It's about thirty selections. So if we go to selection number one, I use the VM and the main button to go up and down. Okay. Let's go right down to number one. Now you can see at the moment there's no CTCSS turned on. So let's turn it on by pushing the MON button. And then we'll go up for two meters, it's 94.8. Okay, so we turn that on, it's transmit CTCSS. Push the menu again. Let's go up, let's go to the next one. Sorry, I'm just getting confused. Function, then we go up and down with VM. Receive CTCSS, so we do the same again. We get the little emblem show on the screen. We can choose 94.8. Now, if you want the shift, let's hit the function again. Go to menu number eight, minus shift. There you are, and then shift and then up with the arrow and we've got the shift is turned on reverse shift is turned on let's go back to the menu let's go through every menu and just see what we recognize we've done the shifts tone decode and that's for dtmf we're going up and down with the vfo and main signal ctcss So I would say that's tone squelch, DCS, let's keep going up, step, if you want to change the step, I like 6.25, that's so when you're changing frequency, it will change the step, so we'll do that now, see that, it's changing by 6.25, with the up and down arrows, back to function, 
up and down with the VM button and main. Wide and narrow receive. Selectable with the up and down. Reverse is on, we know that. Talk AR. And just see what that means, talk AR. I know it means talk around, but what does it actually do? And I'll put a link in the description of the actual manual that I'm using. Interesting, I can't see what that actually does. Someone let me know. Then we'll go number 10, that's your offset frequency. You can change it here. So for a two meter repeater, 0 0.6 and all the noughts is correct. If it was 70 sounds, it tends to be 7.6 and all the noughts. Let's go up. RF lock, never used that before. TX inhibit, SCR, never used that before. Comp setting, yeah, see what that means. To do with your audio. NC, never use that now. Five tone, I would say that's to do with DTMF. DSP sub frequency, or display sub frequency, yeah. So display sub, we wanna show either the frequency, volts, or off look. So we're going to show the frequency, beep on, although we're not really hearing the beeps. Uh, time out, yeah, so that's how long you get to speak. DTMF again, squelch, we've got it on number two, scan, and then the brightness. Vox, if you want to use Vox. Vox delay, tone burst, display channel frequency or name, and factory. And to, to do factory, you get two choices. Look, you either select initialize or factory. Now, initialize keeps your settings, factory wipes everything. And to, to, to get to use, you know, to, to make it do it, hold down the function button. Back to the beginning. Let's see if we can hear anyone now. Let's change the frequency to so function. And then we'll go to the A, put this on the A band with the main. Let's turn it up. They have CB guys there that don't have um, call signs. And they have shortwave listeners. And then we'll go to B and let's go down to Everyone's treated, uh, WR, which I believe there is activity there. So what we'll do is just make sure we've got the correct CTCSS. Oh, we have. See the way it's it's selecting one or the other. Yeah, PK4 GWR returning to PK4 GTM. Yeah, no, it's the same, Darren. And if we go swap it. Like say, um, uh, I, um, like so, you know, it's a nice looking radio, I think. It's very compact. And you can... As far as I can see, you can only change the power if you use the actual microphone. The LED here goes red and green on RXTX. You've got a full DTMF keypad. You've got up and down buttons at the top as well for changing the frequencies. Up and down here. Obviously PTT. And they've got a lot of shortcuts on the microphone. So you push A. And then if you push A1, it's the squelch. A2 is your optional signal setting. A3 is scan skip. A4 is scan. A5 is busy channel lockout. A6 is frequency reverse. A7 is timeout timer. A8 is sub channel on off switch. 9 is offset direction. 10 is function menu. Power and then 11 is your power setting, so you go A and 0. Have a look at A, let's get it right. Power setting is A and 0. Oh, yeah, it actually says power here, you can see it. Power, what else we got here? Brightness is A and the hash, and DTMF code check. So yeah, there's all these different shortcuts and that, and even programming a memory, you're using the microphone. You use A and then star to go into the menu. I'll read what it says about storing a channel. In standby status, press the microphone A key. The top left corner will display function, then press up key. 
The LCD bottom left corner will display save. Now press up down key to select a number. Hold the star key to store the new frequency and return to standby. So okay, as much as I can do, because the, for some reason the microphone isn't working on this radio at the moment, so we're just using the front panel. Oh. But it sounds great, so thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best.